Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to demonstrate how to connect the primary of a transformer in delta and secondary of a transformer in delta. So I already told we are going to have two set of windings. So one is A1, A2. So this is nothing but the primary side B1, B2 for Y phase and C1, C2. So you are going to have R, Y, B and how to connect in delta is join A21, B2 join b21 c1 join c21 a1 so for this at a2 b1 junction point you apply r phase at junction point of uh, b2 c1 you apply y phase at the junction point of c2 a1 you apply b phase so we are going to apply r y b in the phase sequence the same connection is given at primary side as well as the same connection is also given at secondary side now coming to this delta in practically here you have 0 400 0 400, 0, 400 and second you have 0, 100, 0, 100, 0, 100. So how to connect them is I already told short circuit 400, 0, short circuit 400, 0, short circuit 400, 0 and between one set of winding you connect one voltmeter where this voltmeter is called as line primary line to line voltage which is nothing but which measures line voltage. The same connection short 400 0 sorry 100 0 100 0 and 100 0 and connect one voltmeter in a delta connector system phase voltage is equal to line voltage that's why only two meters are sufficient at primary side as well as at the secondary side you see this connection so here i am connecting 400 and 0 so you see here so this is 400 0 i have been short circuited this is 400 0 i have been short circuited and this is 400 0 the red color wind which is twisted 400 0 primary is connected in delta coming to the secondary so here you have to have an output voltage of 100 and 0 so here i have 100 and 0 i have been short circuited next 100 and 0 i have been short circuited next 100 and 0 i have been short circuited so here between uh, this 400 and 0 i am connecting one voltmeter which will measure the line voltage here between 100 and 0 i connected one voltmeter this also will measure the line voltage here phase voltage and line voltage both are same in an delta connected system let's try to exit here so here you can see here so we are giving we are giving all this we are doing this experiment with the help of an auto transformer which is like an protective equipment so suddenly the transformer will uh, will be very comfortable to work why because the voltage level is very very minimum and transformer also will not directly excite slowly takes in such a way that if any accident or any risk occurs we can automatically regulate it's like the regulated voltage supply so you can see here we have r y b are connected to the input of the auto transformer output of the transformer also is connected to r y b so here you can see here so we have been connected the R here and we have been connected connected yellow here and we have been connected the blue here. So now we have to give the supply to the primary side and we have to check out the voltage at primary as well as secondary for the given delta to delta connection okay so this is the importance of how to connect the transformer with delta connection as well as at primary side and delta connection at secondary side hope this will be useful to understand how to operate so why you may ask why you connected only one meter at primary as well as at secondary so the thing is in a delta connected system in a delta connected system phase voltage is equal to line voltage and you see here we are connecting a voltmeter between r and b which is nothing but line voltage we are connecting voltmeter between 0 and 100 which is also measures the line voltage this line voltage only we are measuring this is not only an phase voltage that's what the importance of this experimentation part so hope you understood how to connect the transformer with start to start so automatically here also you will get uh, what is the operating voltage you may get here is so here you may get 400 and indicated value will be 
100 and you have to scale four times you'll get it as a 400 and here you have been connected to 100 and this will be displayed as a 25 and you have to multiply four times so 25 into 4 is how much 100 volts so you may ask why you are getting 400 so here you are having uh, secondary one secondary two secondary one is maximum rated for 100 so that's why the maximum voltage here you may get it as uh, 100 that will be multiplied into 4 why because it is connected to 600 scale and here you will be getting as let us try to verify the experimentation part ok. So see here I am going to give the supply and I am going to check the system. So I have been given you see the voltage between R and B is 410 which is nothing but the line voltage slowly I am using an auto transformer and I am giving the voltage. You can see here it is connected to 600 scale but the available scale is 150. You are going to multiply this with 4 times then you will get the line voltage. Okay. Slowly I am increasing the voltage. You can see the auto transform, I mean the auto transformer through auto transformer we are applying the regulated voltage. Now transformer is under no load condition and it will deliver only no load losses. So slowly the humming sound has been started. The transformer is in action. So how much we are going to apply? 100 volts. So you can see the transformer humming sound has been started which is nothing but uh, it is excited with magnetostriction effect. Okay. So 100 into 4 is 400 volts. Similarly when you come to this side, so this is very very less. This is showing 25 already as discussed 25 into 4. Why? Because it is connected to 600 scale but original scale is 150. How to convert 150 scale into 600? Multiply. 4 times. So 25 into 4 which is nothing but 100 volts here 100 into 4. So 100 into 4 is 400. You may ask a question why you are taken uh, secondary as only 100. So here this tra transformer is having primary directly 0 to 400 volts but secondary is divided into secondary 1 and secondary 2. So one secondary rating is 0 to 100 that is why you are getting the required 100 where this 100 volts is nothing but the line voltage. Okay. So if you buy a transformer only with one secondary then the both primary and secondary voltage will be same. So that is how to connect a transformer primary with delta connection and secondary also with delta connection. So hope it is very simple to understand how to connect in practical a transformer. I mean you see here this is an transformer one, 1 kVA, 1 kVA, 1 kVA on single phase transformer all you have been connected with an delta side at the primary and secondary also with uh, delta and you will be very familiar with this connection how to connect uh, delta to delta connection of an transformer and you can see this is called magnetostriction effect. So AC supply is given the core increases and decreases its magnitude and makes an humming sound this is how we can see that transformer is under no load operation. So hope the video is very clear and you are comfortable in learning this how to connect in delta and delta. So thank you for watching.